I got several new ideas to show you for this year's gift video. Yeah, I got a cold too, but I can't help it. The time is upon us. We've got to show you these ideas now. This year, we're trying to focus on some inexpensive items that can, well, make your tractor life a little bit easier. Let's get started. I've had plans for three years to spend $1,000, up to $1,000, to solve this problem, and this product does it. Let's check it out. It's called the Easy Crank, easy-crank.com. It's used to make my jack a power jack. Just slide it right onto the end of the jack, use your battery powered drill, and you can raise and lower that jack. No more hand cranking. And you know, what's it worth? Well, I think this thing might be what you would call a little bit expensive, but it's a lot less than the thousand dollars I was going to spend. I was really going to take the jack off and put a hydraulic powered jack on my trailer. I was going to have to cut it off, weld on the new jack, go to a lot of hydraulic effort to um, run the hoses to my existing pump for my dump trailer. Yeah, it was, it was gonna be a real pain. But with this at, I guess it's $45 after code TTWT, including shipping, I don't have to do any of that anymore. So I think this is a, a compelling value, okay? The manufacturer wants you to use this when it's empty they don't want you to try to raise a loaded trailer. I guess you can, it depends on the power of your drill. They don't want you using an impact. So it's not an impact wrench kind of approach. Uh, we want something smooth like a drill to, to run it. If you've got a, a, a multi-speed drill like the DeWalt's, and I'm pretty sure the Milwaukee's are the same, you can run them at a, in a slow gear and have plenty of power there. And you can keep your crank with you if your drill battery goes dead or whatever, nothing, you know, you, you still can get the job done. You can slide the crank on there just as easy as you can slide this. Overall, I think this is a compelling solution to those of us that are tired of cranking. Christy used to have to crank up my jack before I got home from work so we could do an evening project. She reminded me repeatedly that it was 52 rounds she had to crank that thing. And no, none of them were easy, so. I should have found this for her years ago. Easycrank.com. In the simple, make it easy category, we've got this easy to use hood latch. The product hood latch on the tractor looks very similar to this. You have to have a screwdriver or other protruding object to push it in to unlatch your hood. With this approach, we extend that outward, right? So we still hook onto the same hood latch in there, but you're able to push it with your finger to open the hood. It's not that expensive. This is made by uh, a local one-man shop, 3dfusionlabs.com. Use code TTWT for a discount. And he has several other products, too. Take a look at these. These are plugs. I just get annoyed. These are always full of junk. I just used the air hose and blew them out again today. But they get full of mud. They get full of all kinds of other junk. These plugs will keep that from happening. So, I don't know. I guess maybe that's an OCD thing. But it just makes it a lot easier. There's several different uh, styles of plugs that come in the kit because some of them are very near to, you know, certain rubber that's protruding here. So it's a, it's a fitted kit for the 1025R, right? The 1025R has the extra rubber here, so it's going to be different per model. So this would be 1025R and 2025R that, that this would fit on. There's several other 3D printed products at 3dfusionlabs.com. Go check them out. Use code TTWT. Inexpensive stuff. Okay, this one's a little more pricey, but if you've got a bad back, it might be worth it. Uh, this is a professional seat with a built-in suspension, and you can adjust that suspension per your weight. You've probably seen this seat on some of the highest-end zero-turn mowers. This is essentially the same seat that's on the Z9 series from Deere. It's called the Pro Ride Seat from TrackSeats.com. When you order this kit, you get the brackets that specifically fit the 1025R as well. Now this is so new that I don't have an installation video yet. We'll have that install video for you as soon as we can. But uh, for now, you can kind of see it on the tractor. You can get it at trackseats.com. Use code TTWT for a 5% discount. The seat itself on the One Series is not a problem. But the reason we had to go to a new seat uh, rather than just add a suspension under the old seat was because this one's 
integrate and if, if we tried to just add a suspension and then add a seat, we were going to be adding too much to the height. So we had to replace the seat. We found this high quality seat and that's, that's what we're doing. It's just a, a few turns here to adjust a, a, a wide variety of weights like, you know, Christy and I are, well, we're not very similar in build and it doesn't take that much to, to move the, the dial for that. Check this out if you think you need a better seating solution. Maybe the seat's a little too pricey to get past the finance committee right now, but if you're a little bit cheeseburger challenged, that reminds me of these seat springs. You can slide these right under your seat and it'll give you just a little more cushion on the 1025R tractors. And that reminds me of the longest partnership we've had on this channel. Yeah, eight years now since we met in Indiana and started working together, yeah. This was the very first product that Catrille and I showed on the channel. Mm -hmm. That video is still on my web, linked on my website and linked on, uh, well, obviously on your, your channel too, yeah. Pretty amazing. <laughs> the seat springs work just as good as they did back then. They do, they do. Inexpensive and that seat is just, it bottoms out. So short of buying the seat that we just showed you, this is, this is a good option. Yeah, it's a good option. All the specs are on the website about um, the increased capacity over the OEM springs. Um, there's a short little video on how to install them. Um, they come with instructions. Um, for 30 bucks, it's a great little upgrade. What else you got for us, Ken? Uh, we got our original dip pedal. We were the first one to start to market these. That's the second product that we ever showed. So these are all laser cut parts, 3D laser cut on the tube laser. Uh, I weld them together. They're powder coated. They're all solid steel. There's a lot of guys out there selling plastic ones. They're printing in their basement on their son's 3D printer or whatever. Yeah. But and those probably work pretty well, but this while. one can handle <laughs> The stomping, yeah, right? I mean, yeah. you, you, you're, you're searching for it. You can't see the pedal. So I'm still using the same one that Ken sent me eight years yeah. ago. Yeah, so that's the, the original dip pedal. Um, and our old favorite, which got us started, was the, um, the bolt-on hooks. But there's been a change to the bolt-on hooks since the originals. Yeah, what's changed here is twofold. One, we've made the clevis a little taller. People okay. were having problems with the nuts and nuts, bolts yeah. interfering. So we've made that quarter-inch taller. The uh, other thing is we've kept the same bolt pattern since day one. So yep. all our parts are interchangeable from day one. Uh, this is the smallest footprint of any of the hooks on the market. All the Amazon ones, eBay ones, they're all larger plates. So they don't fit as well on the buckets or in some places. Yeah, but this right um, here, the business end, that's yeah. what I'm excited about. The, the actual hook, the grade 70 forged hook, is actually now made in the United States up in um, northeast Pennsylvania. Um, we didn't want to use the imported ones anymore, so we spent the time and the money to get dies made, and they're actually forged right here in the States. The only 5 16 hooks... Grade 70s. ...actually made in the USA. That's correct. And we even have a video on our website showing the 3 8 ones getting hammer forged. You know, it's, um, it's a pretty neat video to watch. Put these on your bucket, faced, I would say, backwards, right? And then you can just put a chain around your load, chain it right to the bucket. Yeah, a lot of people and buy them the combos and they mount them back to back. They have a shackle there and it helps them chain brush and stuff in their bucket if they don't have the grapple, you know. Um, just help, gives another alternate location to, a, to attach. Yep, times are hard. You can't afford a grapple bolt-on hooks uh, can allow you to get a hold of those loads. Uh, it, yeah, it's a little slower than a grapple, but this is, this is a very good solution. The idea has been around for 50 years. The bolt-on idea makes it so you don't have to do your own welding. Right. Now, what we've been showing, Ken, have been stuff that's been around for years. This is a new product this year. Right, new product for the John Deere uh, 3 and 4 series back from 20, 2007? Even mm -hmm. earlier, 2006, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, the cab tractor. So everybody has on the cab tractor, you have the right hand door that constantly wants to close. It won't stay open when you're trying to adjust a loader, adjust a three point hitch. So this kit will allow that door to stay open now, just like the left door does. Same shock, um, basic shock that they use on the right side. We engineered and designed two brackets. They're all laser cut and CNC bent, powder coated. We've got install videos for this, both on my channel and on Ken's channel. Yeah. The one on my channel has Ken and Kenton. <laughs> a little bit of a fiasco there, but yeah, hey, it, it, it brings in a laugh, yeah. yeah. And so 
So this is a new product. Uh, I think the title of the video is something like, don't let the door hit you on the way out or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Good product. All of these products, both on hooks.com. Use code TTDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDWDW
have your personalized name there. You can get them in green or orange. I'm not sure about other colors, but make sure you check those out at tractortimewithtim.com. No, there's no code TTWT there. This is my all-time favorite hydraulic top link from agristoreusa.com, and yeah, you can use code TTWT there for a 5% discount. This is not Chinese. It's high quality, it's Italian made, and mine have worked beautifully. Not gonna leak down at all. Double check, we have a check valve here that will prevent it from linking down. This is a, uh, an incredible top link at a very cost-effective price. Now, many folks have asked about a side link, a rear side link, so that you can get full top and tilt on your one series, two series tractors. I haven't talked about this yet because I don't have one in hand and I feel like this is a little bit touchy. Um, it, there's not much space in there and I'm, I, I need to make sure um, that this one works before I formally endorse it, right? But summit-hydraulics.com has a side link um, in pre-order stage. I don't exactly know. I think it's supposed to be available about the time that this video airs. But I don't have one yet. I can't fully endorse it. If you want to take a chance, that's the only one that I know of that is uh, easily available without a long wait time for the one series tractor. Um, Summit-hydraulics.com. Use code TTWT there for a 5% discount. Um, I'll get that as soon as I can and give it a try and give you a full review, but given the sensitivity of that area, so to speak, I'm not going to totally endorse it yet at this point. I'm hopeful, but we'll see how it goes. Obviously, snow removal time is upon us as well, and yes, uh, high-end snow removal equipment is really nice. I love using some of the best stuff just like anybody, but some of us just can't afford it all, right? And so that's what the folks at Edge Tamers have focused on now for years. They've made it their mission to have some low cost, inexpensive ways to improve your snow removal with some of the existing equipment that you already have. So this is their signature Edge Tamer, right? Only this one's been improved, it's cast now, right? So it's a, just an elegant solution. You can get a poly pad so that you won't scratch your driveway as bad, um, and they're replaceable, the, the poly pads are. Um, but this is the original, right? And it's available, all this stuff's available at edgetamer.com or r2manufacturing.com. R2, by the way, trivia, stands for Rob and Ryan, or Ryan and Rob, I don't know, I don't know which came first, we'll have to ask them. But uh, yeah, just a small company that came up with this idea on their own, okay, and created these products. It's a patented product, um, r2manufacturing.com. Now, since then, they have begun to expand and have a lot of different options. I've actually shown you the bolt-on tamer, as they call it, and this is for buckets that have a removable cutting edge. And I showed it to you on a Case 580 backhoe. That works. In fact, I think the ones I showed were even a little bit bigger than this. So they have a lot of different sizes, a lot of different styles for your particular bucket on your particular loader. Now this year they're introducing yet another twist. Um, this is another bracket that allows you to attach it to the side of a box blade. You know, we want our box blades to cut, like we really want them to cut in the way that cutting edge is made. We've got it angled so it'll cut in. And you can use your box blade to remove snow. Again, it's not as optimal as some other approaches. And yes, you can tilt it back and you end up dragging the back blade. I, I realize that, but if you want to try to use it like this, you can put these shoes on the outside of your box blade. You have to drill a couple holes, 3 8 holes, put this bracket on, and then you use these bolt-on tamers. Again, you can have the poly feet, right? So no scratching. You can also do that same thing on a snowblower. Some of you complain about trying to use a snowblower in rocks. Well, we've got several different heights here. You can adjust it, right? Get your snowblower up off the ground, riding on these edge tamers. And I promise you, these guys know snow. They grew up, and these are manufactured in Buffalo, New York. Edgetamer.com. Use code TTWT for a 5% discount. Buy the originals. I've got to provide a little update about this six-port single-point connector. You cannot get this from John Deere. The only place you can get this right now is discounthydraulichose.com. 
use code TTWT there. There are two variations available, okay? The first variation is an upgrade from a four port. So let's say you got a four port adapter before 2023. We'll get to the 23 and, and later models in a minute, but you bought the four port upgrade somewhere before 2023. Variation number one allows you to upgrade that to a six port uh, connector here. Not only does it give you the extra two ports, it gives you new cartridges that are connect under pressure compatible. There have been some seal issues. Um, it's usually because people don't run their loader joystick around after they have it free to re re relieve the pressure. So uh, Faster has decided to include all the uh, new cartridges that provide connect under residual pressure. Now the point of this is just to make it easy to remove all six hoses without any effort, really. You can do this from the seat of the tractor. The top half of the existing four port is compatible with the bottom half of the six port or reverse if you wanted to do that. The other variation that we have available is for machines that don't have any single port connector at all. It takes all six hoses, four of them from here and two of them from wherever your third function is, but on the Deer OEM third function, it's up here and uh, many others as well. But it has all the hoses necessary and the bracket, the big tall bracket right here to connect this six port single point connector to your tractor. That leaves the 23 and 24 models that have the existing four port from the factory. And we don't have a solution for that at this time. If you're looking at a new 1025R and you want to have all six ports, through your single point. You can order it without a factory installed loader, order the loader separately and have the dealer install it, and then your tractor will not come with the existing four port. Then buy the six port connector variation three from Discount Hydraulic Hose. Your dealer can even help with the install probably, but uh, uh, that's, that's how you to get to this in the most cost effective manner. Review just a little bit. The reason that you want six ports is if you have a grapple, you've got a third function, um, you need two ports for every function. So you've got lift, you've got curl, and you've got grab on the grapple, right? Takes two hoses for each of those. That's all three functions. That's why you would want this. It's not inexpensive. It's, an, it's, it's fairly costly. But for me, it was life-changing. Christy couldn't operate this at all. She could not take the loader off. Now she can. No worries. DiscountHydraulicHose.com slash TTWT and use code TTWT for 5% discount. Supplies are limited. For now, we're trying to get a bigger order in, but there are a few available of each variation, so go ahead and place your order now. Well, even in December, it's a nice day, so I'm going to get back to work. Meanwhile, you need to go order some of these cool products for the tractor lover in your life. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights who does not change like shifting shadows. You're, you're, all, you're all good, the audio's good, you're happy, 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 right? Happy. Look at she her. She looks thrilled. Happy, yeah. happy, happy. I can tell she is. <laughs> this is vacation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd not tell her what yeah. work is like, but this we is vacation. We were out there full of uh, hydraulic oil on vacation. <laughs> that was fun, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs>